Welcome to Drive Time. I'm Jenna Lane, co-host of Sports Talk Florida Live with my usual partner in crime, Rob Weingarten. Of course, he's not here today because he's usually not in on Fridays. But a lot of conversation the last 48 hours or so around the Bucks. Of course, them making a move and parting ways with Lovey Smith. And then yesterday we heard from general manager Jason Light about the search, which this team is adamant about, that they are going to conduct a thorough search to find the Bucks' new head coach. And of course, the favorite in all this that's already emerged has been Dirk Cutter, their offensive coordinator. But yesterday, Light said they are going to look outside the organization, which they have to anyway. There's a few rules that they have to follow, including the Rooney rule. And that is something that, of course, means they have to interview at least one assistant who is an African-American. And they can satisfy that requirement by bringing in a guy that Jason Light has actually worked hand in hand with over with the Arizona Cardinals. He's their offensive coordinator, Harold Goodwin. So look for them to bring him in, and the Bucks did confirm that they will be interviewing him. They're also going to be bringing in Panthers defensive coordinator Sean McDermott, another guy that Jason Light has worked hand-in-hand -hand with. So, so far, three official candidates that we know about. There could be more, though because those two teams are able to allow their assistants to interview because they've got first round buys, the Cardinals and the Panthers. Rules permit them to do so because they're not gonna be playing this weekend in wild card games. As for teams that are playing in wild card games, they can make their assistants available the week of divisional games. So if the Bucks are going to do some more interviews and wanna to talk to somebody like Hugh Jackson of the Bengals, then that's when they'd be able to make that move. But they can only do, and this is for teams that are currently in the playoffs. If teams aren't in the playoffs, it doesn't really matter. But for teams that are in the playoffs, these are the rules that they have to follow. They can only do preliminary interviews, though. They can't do follow-up interviews until after all of this has taken place. And if the team if the team is still in the playoffs and makes it to the Super Bowl, that's when they can do interviews as well. They can do an interview the week before the Super Bowl, during that bye week there. So keep an eye out for that. We don't really know how far the Bucks are going to get in this process. Although I'd encourage them to take their time a little bit. I know that Dirk Cutter has drawn interest from another of other teams, a number of other teams, including the Eagles, also the 49ers as well, and the Dolphins too. I heard there's a lot of interest there. But you know what? You owe it to your organization and to your fans, especially after so many failed hires. You owe it to listen to what these coordinators have to say. Hear their input. Hear how they're doing things in their respective organizations and what their plans would be to take Tampa Bay to the next level. I think you really owe it to your fan base, and, and you said it before, too. You said the fans here, well, they don't deserve all of this losing. And as Jason Light said yesterday, fans here have been patient long enough. Well, guess what? They should be a little bit patient in this process, too, in order to really really find the right match for this team. With Drive Time and SportstalkFlorida.com and of course Sports Talk Florida Live, which you can hear on Sports Talk 1040 The Team. That's Monday through Fridays from 3 to 6 p.m. I'm Jenna Lane.